the Pillars of Equestria were some of the strongest ponies in all of equestrian history until one day, they just vanished. Well, we do find out that they disappeared because they had to seal away the Pony of Shadows using Stonehenge, which sent them to Limbo for a thousand years. Until Twilight Sparkle managed to free them. But what if they never vanished to begin with? How would that even change equestrian history? Well, my little ponies, thanks to my sister Silver Snow, I ended up doing the research, and it's definitely going to change Equestria's history. The Six Pillars were a group of ponies from all over Equestria. They were all brought together by a unicorn named Stygian, who wanted them to protect all of Equestria. And of course, he just had to get corrupted by darkness. But out of all of the pillars, only one of them was the most well-known of all, Star Swirl the Bearded. He was an extremely strong unicorn, and he even created over 200 spells. We even saw what one of his spells could do. But after he went to Limbo, Celestia and Luna were the ones left with protecting Equestria. And they did a really good job of it. I mean, my old house burned down when Discord's chaos caused it to spontaneously combust, but yeah, they did a great job. But this got me wondering, what if Star Swirl had never left Equestria? And how could that even happen? Well, we know that the pillars were trapped in Limbo, so in order for this to work, we would have to find a way to stop Star Swirl and the pillars from trapping Stygian. But if we did that, that would doom all of Equestria. So let's not do that. And the same thing would probably happen if we try to take the pillars out of the whole equation too. So we'll have to cross that one off the list. But there is a way to do this without destroying all of Equestria. And I think our answer lies in the episode Hearts Warming Eve. In that episode, we find out that Star Swirl has an apprentice. So that's right, every creature. The key to this whole thing is Clover the Clever. Think about it, she'd be perfect to trade places with Star Swirl. And if she's really Star Swirl's student, she'd have a large magical aptitude. Similar to how Celestia and Luna have a large magical ability. But then again, the royal sisters are alicorns. But there's a problem with this what if. I couldn't find any documents or text in the Canterlot archives on how long Clover the Clever lived. Originally, I was gonna give up. It seemed like there was no case to be made about this kind of what if. But then I remember that a hippogriff told me that someone had already made a theory on Star Swirl. The theory said that Star Swirl created alicorns. So I ended up researching this theory. And the more I did, the more I realized that it all made sense now. And although it is a bit of a stretch, Star Swirl the Bearded could have given Clover the Clever immortality. That means that Clover the Clever can take her master's place at Stonehenge now. But now we have another problem. How can we convince some pony like Star Swirl to switch out with his own apprentice? When Twilight first brought him back from Limbo, he was extremely stubborn and prideful. And sadly, this is the same Star Swirl from a thousand years ago. Because Twilight even says, That's the thing about Limbo. It isn't one place or another. It's in between. So time stands still. If we can pull them out, it'll be like they never left. So how would it work then? Well, it won't. Well, not without Celestia and Luna. You see, in Shadowplay Part 2, we find out that both Luna and Celestia were once Star Swirl students. And they even have fond memories of being taught by Star Swirl. So it would make a lot of sense for both of them to try to convince Mr. The Bearded to switch with Clover the Clever. That way, he could still protect Equestria. And if he did stay, he could even pass on his knowledge to other unicorns. And that would create an even stronger magical society than the one we have now. So wouldn't Equestria be better off if that had happened? Well, no, it wouldn't. Equestria would be safer, but we've seen this before with Starlight. It's always going to be better to leave the past the way it is. Because if this had happened, everything we know about Equestrian history would be changed. 
forever. We don't even know if the main six would be the main six. And the way I see it, there would only be one path left for this kind of a what if to take. And I don't mean the Nightmare Moon path, because in this kind of a world, that wouldn't even happen. Luna would have gone to Star Swirl about her feelings toward her sister, and Star Swirl would know what jealousy could bring. So instead of banishing her away to the moon, I think he would immediately banish her from Equestria. And knowing Celestia, she would go with her sister, and this wouldn't help. In fact, it would make things worse for Luna. Celestia would try her best to cheer up her sister, but she would fail. We've seen what the guilt that Luna holds can do to her. Just look back on the Tentibus. Eventually, Celestia would blame herself for Luna's banishment, and after constantly feeling that, that pain would turn to anger, but not anger toward herself. Anger towards Starswole. She could become corrupted and turn into Daybreaker. And that would force Star Swirl to banish Celestia using the elements of harmony. And after seeing that, Luna could turn into Nightmare Moon and suffer the same fate, leaving all of Equestria without their princesses to manage it. That could lead to Star Swirl having to take over. But anyway, that's what I think would happen if Star Swirl didn't get trapped in Limbo. But what do you think would happen? Let me know in the comment section below. And I might make a part 2 to this video. So keep an eye out for that. And a special thank you to my first patron. Your support means the world to me. And if any creature wants to support me, choose a tier that represents who you are and support me on Patreon. Links in the description. And if you like the video, then show it. And be sure to subscribe for more theories and what ifs. Until next time, this is Windstriker, signing off. Later!